In this video, we'll be looking at the part 2 of the 2025 jam physics questions on AC circuits. In our previous class, we looked at question 1 to 5. In this class, we look at question 6 to 10. Okay? All right, let's get to the questions. All right, question 6 here says, an alternating current with a frequency of 100 hertz has a period of Okay, now in this question here, you're given the frequency F as equal to 100 hertz. So F, it's equal to 100 hertz. They said it has a period of, you have to find period, that's T, it's equal to unknown. Now from this question here, we know that the relationship between period and frequency is that period T is equal to the inverse of frequency. All right, so period T is equal to 1 all over, frequency is 100. I'm having 1 all over 100, and that gives you 0 0.01 um, periods in seconds. So I have 0 0.01 seconds. That becomes um, the answer to this question. So B, we have this 0 0.01 seconds. So that's your answer. Let's look at number 7. 7 says the current output from an AC source is given as I being equal to 15 sine omega t, the DC equivalent of, of the current is, okay, you have of the, of the, should be just one of the, the DC equivalent of the current is, uh, okay, so first things first, let's list out the parameters given. You're given the current I, given the current there, I has been equal to, 15 sine omega t, that's 15, sine of omega t, okay? You now said we should find the DC equivalent of the current. How do you find DC equivalent of the current? What do you do? Now, here's the first thing you should note. There's an equation. The current For the current equation, you have that the current I is equal to I naught. Okay, I not sine omega t. Now, what this means is that I will be equal to I not whatever value you have here before the sine omega t is usually the peak value. All right, and hence from this, we can see that the value here before the sine omega t is 15. So we can say the peak value here, I not is equal to 15. Current is in amps. You have to find the DC value. Now, how do you find the DC value from the peak value? Now, you should note that when it comes to AC, the concept of DC and RMS are used interchangeably. That's to say that in most cases, IDC is equal to IRMS, all right? So this happens, especially if the circuit is powered by a DC, that's a direct current. So, but just bear in mind that we interchange this um, in the concept of AC calculations, okay? So if you ask to find the DC value, it simply means to find the IRMS value. Now we know that IRMS, which in this case we're using IDC, is equal to the ratio of the peak value to the square root of 2, as we said in part 1. And this will be equal to the peak value is 15, 15 all over root 2, and that's equal to, let's get this done. I'm having 15 over root 2, and that's about 10.61 approximately. So I have this as 10.61. This is current, that's direct current. Um, that would be in amperes, okay? So I have 10.61 amperes. So I'll check which option is that. 10.61 amperes, that's option A. So option A is the correct answer. Let's get to question number eight. Question number eight says, in an AC, the ratio of RMS value to peak value of voltage, now in this case it's voltage, is, let's see how we can get this done. In an AC, the ratio of RMS value to peak value, the relationship, as we've always said, is that VRMS, the measure for voltage, so VRMS is equal to V peak, that's peak voltage all over what? Root two, okay? Now, in this question, they said the ratio of the RMS value to peak value. That means RMS should be at the numerator, then peak value at the denominator. And to achieve that, I'll put all over 1 here, 
and this two will swap. Okay, the swap position. That means the peak value comes down, and I'm having V R M S all over. This man comes down here, so it becomes V naught. The peak value is equal to one goes up here, becomes one all over root two. This is mathematically correct. Okay, so hence we can see that the ratio of the R M S value to the peak value of the voltage is one over root two, and that's option B. One all over root two. Let's look at question 9. Question 9 says, in an alternating current circuit at resonance, the angle of lead or lag is, you have 10 degrees, you have 0 degrees, you have 90 degrees, you have 180 degrees. Um, what's your answer here? Now, here's the first thing to note. The, the equation that governs this is that cos theta, cos theta is equal to R over Z where R is actually resistance and Z is actually called the impedance, okay? We explained this in our previous class, okay? I've done a full tutorial on this concept, okay? If you want to check out the full tutorial on AC circuit, I'll leave a link to that video in the video description, all right? So check the video description. You see a link that um, gives you access to our full class or our full class tutorial on AC circuits. That's why you learn all of this. But for here, we're just solving the first question. So we have that cos theta. From here, we can have that cos of theta is equal to R all over Z. Now, here's the thing. They said at resonance. Now, what happens at resonance? At resonance, the resistance is equal to the impedance. So R is equal to Z. If R is equal to Z, that means they have the same value. In essence, if R is equal to 2, z is equal to 2 they are both 2 and hence r over z would be 2 over 2 and this cancels to give you what's there 1 as your answer so at resonance r is equal to z that becomes r over z becomes 1 because they have the same value to get the value of the angle that theta theta would be equal to i'll take cos inverse on both sides to become cos inverse of 1 and that's equal to, if I punch this, the cos inverse of 1, the value is 0. So cos inverse of 1 is 0. So the angle of lead or lag is actually 0 degrees. So I have this. All right, one final question there, question 10. Question 10 here says, the DC generator has essentially the same components as the AC generator, except the presence of, the answer to this question is C, the split ring okay so what this, what differentiates the dc generator from the ac generator is something called a split ring you could make your own research on how this works but that's a question you should note because it's almost always repeated so you should note that this is actually split ring that's your answer okay all right guys so that's how we answer this question i want to leave you with the task let's say in this question here Instead of 15, let's say I had I, in this question I had, that's question number 7. For question number 7, let's say we had I as being equal to 173.25 sine in bracket omega t. If you had this, what would be the answer of this question? So the same question as the current output from an AC source is given as, now in this question now, take I to be equal to 173.25 sine omega t now they are saying the dc equivalent of the current is is what leave your answer in the comment section and i'll tell you if you're correct or not okay all right guys don't forget that I prepared over 100 classes on physics chemistry mathematics and other science subjects okay you can get it on my website www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses and you see the jam slash wire classes okay it gives you access to over 100 classes on physics um, chemistry mathematics jam pass questions and solution for over 10 years okay you can also get it from my you can also get it by joining my channel membership all right so you can see the jam slash wire channel membership i'll leave a link to join the channel membership in the video description all right all right guys so if you enjoyed this video as usual Hit the like button so like this video please it helps us to grow all right so hit the like button leave a comment 
in your comments, I gave you a task on assignment. Okay. I give you a task there. That was question seven. You solve it and leave your answer in the comment section and I'll tell you if you're correct or not. Don't forget to subscribe. If it's your first time or if you're yet to subscribe, please do well to subscribe to this channel as it helps us to grow and hit the bell icon. Choose all so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content. And finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.